And within the last hour, we learned from base officials that the lockdown has been lifted. The base dates back to 1947 when the Wisconsin Air National Guard was established at Mitchell. Currently, it houses the air refueling wing, which does just that refuel combat aircraft. Well, the show will go on after much debate and concern. Shorewood residents will perform to kill a mockingbird this week. Worries over the use of the N word in the play caused the district to cancel the show the night it was scheduled to begin. Casey Geraldo explains why they've changed their mind. A message went out to families this week, letting them know that the lights in the auditorium will go on this week for the show, but it comes with the addition of conversations around racial justice. I want people to get uncomfortable. I want people to be like, you know, cause commotion. I want people to be confused because that's how they felt back then. It's the reason these students fought to perform their play. The N-word is used in the play. It's not because it's a play promoting racism or the use of the N-word, it's the opposite. On opening night, the district canceled the play, citing potential protests over the use of the word. In hindsight, you know, looking at uh, what, what could have been done, that's something that uh, we should have had a larger conversation about. And I think the most important thing um, that both the director, the principal, and myself didn't do was reach out to the community. Superintendent Brian Davis says the students asked, and he set up community conversations and a security plan for the play. The students will still say the end word. There are going to be community conversations now both before and after the play. How do you Correct. think that will change the tone of the conversation? Uh, I think it'll it'll make sure that we're centered around uh, what we need what we need to do and really what the intent um, of the play is and, and what our kids are asking us all of our kids are asking us to do which is one to increase awareness of uh, uh, racial justice issues um, both in our school and our community. The students know people are hurt by the word. Their emotions are real and they're it's valid, but hope the conversations create healing. And I want these conversations to continue. There will be one night for this show Wednesday at 7 p.m. and parents will get priority for tickets in Shorewood. Casey Geraldo today's TMJ4. Casey also tells us that discussions will continue. A community conversation on race will take place at 730 Tuesday night at Shorewood High School. There is also a community talk back after the play, as she mentioned on Wednesday.